Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we are going to compare two modern object detectors, RT Dieter and its upgrade version, RT Dieter V2. But before we get into difference uh, between them, let's take a step back and understand the original model that started it all, Dieter, and why it needed improvement in the first place. Let's get started. So, Dieter or detection transformers was introduced by Facebook AI in 2020. It was the first object detector to use a transformers encoder architecture, removing the need for handcrafted components like anchor boxes, region proposals, and non-max suppression. The idea was elegant. Pro pass an image to a CNN, flatten the features, run them through a transformers and use a fixed set of learned object queries to directly predict bounding boxes and class labels. But Dieter has some serious limitations. It was very slow to train, like often requiring over 500 epochs to converge. It had high inference latency, making it, it, making it unsuitable for real-time application. It struggled with small object because it didn't use uh, multi-scale features and it wasn't flexible adapting it to tasks like segmentation or key point uh, wasn't a straightforward so while uh, Dieter introduced a new direction it wasn't practical for many real world scenarios that's where RT Dieter came in developed by Baidu in 2023 it was it kept the transformers idea but restructured things to make it real time and edge device friendly like some of its key features include using lightweight CNN backbones like Connext or MobileNet uh, adding multi-scale features to improve small object detection using top K query selection instead of decoding over all queries faster and similar matching mechanism uh, like uh, and ditching the slow Hungarian algorithm and the result was faster training and real-time inference and decent accuracy. RT Dieter proved that transformers with detector could actually compete with YOLO-like model in pro production environment. Now let's talk about its upgrade RT Dieter V2. Released in 2024, while RTDTR was all about speed, RTDTR V2 focused on both versatility and efficiency across platform. Here, what RTDTR V2 improved: introduced a hybrid task cascade head, allowing it to handle detection, instant segmentation, key point detection, and more. Use multi-resolution deformable attention like uh, which resulted in improving feature quality uh, optimize it for low power devices for support for continuation and uh, which make uh, the overall performance better without sacrificing latency making it ideal for both cloud and edge device edge environment so to sum up uh, if you need faster and accurate object detection rt data is solid but if you want something that's task flexible, plat platform optimized, and more powerful, overall RT Data V2 is the best model you need. So let's come back to our comparison. Before going straight for object detection using RT Data, we have to first set up some environment for it. I am going to use NVIDIA L4 GPU for my tutorial. Now let's install some Python libraries which we are going to use in our tutorial. These are Transformer, Torque, Pillow, Matplotlib, Request, OpenCV, Tim. Let's check the version of each library. As you are seeing, I am using the latest version of each libraries. So let's import libraries to our notebook. Hmm. Now, I have created a helper function which helps me to uh, download image using URL and load it in our notebook. Let's run that function. Now, I am using this sample image for our tutorial. 
as you can see it contains lots of objects which are very far and in front of you and lots of random objects like a duck or flowers and bicycle which is in the lower corner of the image now for our main code block how i am going to use rt data i am using transformers module to import two classes rt data for object detection rt data for image processor and now this device variable helps me to choose between CUDA and CPU if available. So model in this uh, we are going to load model. I am using packing URT data R50 VD. It's a uh, simple model which is good for both accuracy and speed and a processor. The processor is here to uh, to resize our image like normalize or to cut image to provide it to our model now first we are going to provide our image to our processor and input that value to our model as you can see i am using torch no grad as it helps me to save memory now i am pre-processing my image as you can see image size uh, i am reversing it from height to width to width to as pytorch required in that format now let's run that on our image as we can see uh, detection has been observed in our image so the scores are the confidence level of each object labels represent which object we call uh, belongs to which class and boxes give us the coordinates of our object but you are seeing in label we are getting an uh, uh, integer as a value but uh, cl classes names would be of string we are going to see that later later let's see how many classes we, uh, how many objects we have detected in this image as you can see i have detected 21 objects in this image so Let's talk about what label means here. Seven, as you know, uh, RT data RT is trained on Coco data set. So Coco data set has uh, uh, classes which index on them. So these are the classes of Coco data set. As you can, the, it's a zero base indexing. So the seven will be here. It's a truck. And let's see in our image. Yes, there is a truck in our image. So let's create a function which will simplify that process as you can see i have created a function which simplify this process and also visualize my results on the image and return the modified image let's run this image run this function so i have created same function for our rt data we just have to change the value here uh, i am going to use rt data v2 r50 a uh, similar model of rt data series let's run this function let's inference result on our image as you can see rt data has done a great job in detecting uh, objects it's a detected ducks bicycle which is in the very corner person truck but it has failed to detect some key objects like plant which is in our coco data set let's see what happened with rt data v2 as you can see it has detected more objects than rt data it has detected our potted plant it had detected stop sign yes it has detected person bicycle it has done a better job at detecting than rt data v so let's take in another image for our uh, sample as you can see this is a image of uh, elephants and zebra from a very far away distance let's see what happened first we check rt data v2 
as you can see, RT Editor has nearly detected all the objects in our image. Let's see what happened with RT Editor. It has detected, but if you see it uh, here, like uh, it has detected to fail some zebras, but uh, our model RT Editor V2 has detected it all the zebras clearly so this is a main feature of rt detector v2 which is good at detecting object at long distance or or small sizes let's take another example it's a image which contains lots of sheep let's run that uh, inference our model on it I'm using RT Editor V2 first. So the RT uh, V2 has detected all these shapes nearly, but it failed to detect these here. As you can see, it has leave four shape undetected. Let's try this image on our RT Editor V1. Let's, it also failed to detect these objects. So both RT Editor failed to detect the sieves which are here let's take another example so the, in this example you are seeing uh, a lots of sieves uh, so let's inference our model on it So the inference result is here. So as you can see, it has detected all the seeps in our image. Hmm. So let's try it with the RT uh, detector. As you can see, it is also detected most of the seeps. Uh, clearly but it failed to detect some sieves behind which has been clearly detected by RT Editor V2 as you can it has not detected these sieves which is uh, its downside as it can't detect uh, objects which are smaller inside let's try our model on a video The main power of RT Editor series is its, its capability for real-time inference. So we are going to test in on a video of a football match. This is the sample video I am going to use as an example. As you can see, it has many objects uh, like, like player, footballs, uh, people in crowd, which we are going to see if both model can detect it clearly. Let's uh, perform inference on the video for that i have created a function which will inference our model on the video and save it let's run this function now let's see the result of that inference on our sample video With this, our tutorial on comparison between RT Editor and RT Editor has been over. To read in more detail, you can check our blog on our labeler's website. In this blog, you will learn about RT Editor V2 in great detail and compare it with YOLO. Let's see you in another tutorial.